days of Christ I live. There in the crown His body lay, light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day. Up from the grave he rolled the king, and as he stands in victory, sings cast as lost its grip on me. blood of Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, you are most welcome to Eucharistic celebration this morning, in which we celebrate the feast of St. Andrew, the Apostle beginning a journey with Jesus Christ from Galilee, hearing his word, his call, accepting it in his life, and following him until Jerusalem, the whole journey. Let us ask God's pardon for many times that the Lord called us for a change of tasks, for a change of behavior, and possibly we are adamant to, to change we remain in our human flesh, in our human mind, and we are not able to follow the promptings of the Lord, the promptings of the Holy Spirit. I confess to Almighty God to my brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on us peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your Majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed Apostle Andrew was for you, church, a preacher, and pastor, so he may be for us a constant in the sense of before you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, 
If you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For man believes with his heart and so is justified. And he confesses with his lips and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, and bestows his riches upon all who call upon him. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But how are men to call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without a preacher? And how can men preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach good news, but they have not all heeded the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes by the preaching of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the work of his sons. Day unto day conveys the message, and night unto night imparts the knowledge. Their sounds go forth. All the earth. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded. Their sound goes forth through all the earth, their message to the utmost bonds of the world. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. and I will make you fishers of men. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee. He saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading we have heard that the, the voice of the Lord, the words of God fill the, the entire universe, the whole world, 
But at the same time, that there are those who have not had it. Much as it is everywhere, there are those people who have not had the word of God, who have not become believers. They are yet to become believers. And the, there is a desire. There is a desire, there is a wish that people may be called and accept the call so they can go out as missionaries to spread the word of God to those parts of the world, those people who have not received the word of God, possibly the way we have received it here in Africa. So the need for missionaries. And this has not just started, but you see, even at the beginning of the mission of Jesus, he needed missionaries, people called from their own places to go with him, you know, to accept to be instructed by him, formed by him, so that later they could be sent to go out as missionaries to spread the word of God. So let no one deceive us that there is no need for missionaries today. That now Christianity or rather faith, people are now, uh, they have embraced the faith, so we don't need missionaries, we don't need ministers of the church. There is still a, a big need, there is a need. Now, Andrew has been called, together with his brother Peter, and on, on the same day, uh, Jesus also calls the two brothers, the sons of Zebedee, James and, and John, and they accept immediately. They never hesitated. Even the father of these two brothers, of th these two sons, he also accepts. We don't hear that there is much struggling. He accepts. First of all, we have to appreciate these families. This family is something they can teach us a lot. The spirit of working together, working together as a team. And I think that's what Jesus saw in them. That if they can be able to work as a family, two brothers doing the same business, working together without fighting, I think he knew if he calls them to work with him, he wouldn't have any problem with them in as far as community life would be concerned, in as far as teamwork would be concerned. So this leaves us also a lot to desire, especially in our families. How, what is the spirit within our family? Are we united? Do we speak the same language? Do we do the same things in one spirit? Or our families are divided? Two brothers against two brothers, two sisters who no longer eat together, not to work together. So let this be the first grace to pray for. If there is a disunity in our family that we can no longer talk together, we can no longer eat together, not to work together, that this spirit which was there between Andrew and Peter and the two sons of Zebed, John and James, together with their father, may be the spirit which is in our biological families, that we are united together. Because God put us together, not just by chance, but by purpose. Otherwise, it would be in other families. So we have to, to build that unity, which is the first foundation. Secondly, in case your child uh, tells you, uh, my dad, my mom, I would like to be a priest. I would like to be a sister. I would like to be a brother. Uh, please help. Don't stop him. I know you may have had your personal plans for your child. You want him in the future to be A, B, C, and D. But if you hear that voice from the end of your child, even if he is one, don't say, now I have only one boy, I have only one daughter. Where will I get cows? You know, if this daughter of mine becomes a sister, I need some animals. No. Then there we shall be fighting with God. Because if God calls, if he chooses, then we as human beings, we cannot say no. Because even us, when we ask him, he never says no, he always says yes. So let us be generous to him. We give him our, our daughters, we give him our sons to be priests, to be brothers, to be sisters. Yes, sometimes we feel it also as a priest. Like now here in Mbuya, uh, you find there is a lot of work. You are called here and there and there, and maybe you are only two priests. It's not easy. It's not easy. And it's not only in Mbuya, but in many of the parishes. Christians, we thank God they are increasing in number, but the number of priests and sisters is not increasing. And the Christians demand services. Uh, you demand us not so. 
But we cannot divide ourselves into so many people. <laughs> we cannot biolocate, you see. Like today, we are support, I was supposed to be at Mass with the sisters in Gorobi, one would be here. But now because maybe we are only two, we cannot be everywhere. That's why kindly we beg to you, at least I, on behalf of the church, I beg to you, parents, if God continues to give you the blessing of children, try at least give one to the church. Be generous to the church. We need, we need them. We need them. Of course, you can also they need outside. Yes. If you have three, pray for one that God, yeah, maybe is choosing one. And when you hear that voice, please don't stop it. Lastly, uh, is about the, the change of work. The change. Sometimes when our children are called, uh, or we, when we are called, there may be a need of change because God calls us from where we are. They were fishermen, and they were doing their work very well, looking after their families, and God has chosen them for something else. I will teach you to be fishers of men, no longer uh, the, the fishermen, not to, to get fish. And they, they accepted. Did God do wrong? Did he say that what they were doing were wrong? No. What they were doing was right, a right thing to do at that moment, but then God called them for something else. So we too, it's good always to be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. I may be doing something today, but the Lord calls me to do something tomorrow. So when we hear the voice of God, let us not harden our, our hearts, but let us always be generous and flexible. Some of us, some of us are too rigid, very rigid. You find I'm doing something, maybe I've done it for many years. And so, it becomes hard for me to change. That when God comes speaking to me, asking me to do something else, I cannot imagine that I can change and do something else. And yet, that's what God wants me to do. Let us learn from Andrew, and Peter, and John, and James, and all other apostles, who were very open, you know, flexible to change, even those things which they had done for so many years, because the Lord called.
accept my sacrifice and you as may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for, for the, the praise and, and the glory of his name. name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us Almighty God that through these offerings which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for your bid your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon him a due for, so that they become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the wing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, suppose ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this I saw my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, we celebrate the more of the death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us why to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and the and our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection. In especial, those death and verse are occurred today, and for all those that who have offered this Mass in our hearts. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, we send Daniel Kombon, St. Bakita, the Uganda Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the end of the Holy Spirit, all grand honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grace us a grand peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. For the sin of the world, blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to eternal life. Amen.
us pure and gentle and teach us how to do thy blessed will to follow close thy print of thy dear footsteps and when we fall sweetheart oh love us still Let us pray. May communion in sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may may to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us remember brothers and sisters who have died in this recent past. Those who have been following, maybe on the media, it's in a few, I can say a few weeks, that Mbara Archdiocese has lost three priests. And uh, also here in Mbuya, yesterday we had news that our catechist, Aloysius, who is always instructing our Christians, lost the, the wife. And the Rukuya Mass will be here at nine. Also, Father Anton lost his uncle. The burial also is today. So let us lift all our brothers and sisters who have died in these days, that the Lord may grant them eternal rest. Eternal rest grant unto them, O oh Lord. And let perpetual shine shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray for God's blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm in apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Holy Apostle Andrew. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by his, their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed week. Thank you, Father.